Hi, it's fall. First day of school. Yes, thank Kids you. Kids are out the door. Kids are out. Thank you. You're out of the house. Godspeed. Good luck. We love you so much. Yes. So everybody, all the moms and the dads, can run out and get themselves a little pumpkin spice, which is kind of where we are on this line. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's who doesn't think, love oh. pumpkin spice? It's the candles, the coffee, and now we've done the florals. This. Uh, we did a little bit of this last year, but this is kind of our new and improved 2021 line. So this is our pumpkin spice. It is spicy, but it's still kind of subtle. It's got creams, it's got the really beautiful cinnamons, it's got some kind of the turk blues in it, it's got some mustard. It's kind of that like soft color scheme, I think, for, yeah, for It fall. is soft. It's a good transition. It's like kind of that you want to go fall, but you're not ready to like. Well, and not everyone's home bright. does bright orange, you know, or bright yellow. So this is a pretty color scheme. It me. is. And the other thing that we love about this line is all of these tones look amazing off of those slate blues and the yes. gray tones and stuff. So like Lauren was saying, it's just really, really subtle. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's kind of why we're kicking it off with this one, guys. We're celebrating all the things that fall. Um, so this is our centerpiece. And like I was saying, it's yeah. got lots of different things in it. It's got the Astilbe, which is lovely and coastal and cream. It has the little gourds, but like again, they're not screaming orange, so it's just really, really soft. It's got some lovely white washed oak leaves in it. It's got berries, it's got mimosa. Um, it's a pretty blend. It yeah. does, and this is what we do a lot of, guys, and you're gonna see this in lots of different ways, but this is this is what we call our drop-in. So if you are in the store. Drop it. Yeah. Drop it. I drop it. <laughs> I drop it in. That's why it's called that. Yeah, it works out really well. People bring in their own containers and sometimes we can literally just drop the floral right in. Other times they bring us the container, we'll tweak it to fit. Um, but the bowl changes the look. So I could go into something more elegant. I could go into something more rustic depending on the vibe of my home. It so. does. And it makes it shippable. This is no problem for us to throw in a box. You can ship it to friends. You can ship it to yourself. You can yeah. ship it to your you mom. You can ship a, it to your dad. A bowl this size at home, buy the floral. We'll ship it to you easily. And you just set it in, fluff it out, and you're ready. Yep. So um, this is our pumpkin spice centerpiece. Yeah, I will say most people, when the first thing they come in, the fall transition is starting to happen, they're going to their front doors the first step. So we'll, we'll, we'll take you there yeah. next. We'll yeah. start on the outside of our home and I work think, our way in. Yeah, I mean, trying to show your neighbors you're starting to get excited. Um, so they'll usually come in for their front door piece. This is the same combination that Sarah's saying, all the pretty soft tones. If you have that dark door and you're looking for that lighter contrast, this will really pop with these lighter leaves, these lighter husks, the astilbe, and all of this is the look of dried, but it's actually not. So that's amazing, so you can use it on your front door, right? Yeah, it's really rainy right now. Dries are not gonna be happy on your front door, and it's not gonna stand the test Our of moisture time. in this, you know, humidity, it just doesn't work, so. It doesn't. So this is another option as a, as a front door piece. This is a down drop or a down swag. Same combination, but the reason we love these is if you have a double door, sometimes it's really nice to have two of these. Yeah. It's a little less, well, it, it's elongating for the door. It's also just a little less mass on your door. So these are really great options, and we, we give this in pretty much every line. Yeah, you're going to see an option of a wreath and that same combination in a drop. The other thing, you know, I don't like getting up on a ladder to do garlands over my door. I definitely don't. The like holidays are the garlands. time I might do it, but during the fall, I think it's pretty to take a drop, a drop left and right from my lighting and a wreath in the door and I've done my whole facade a few pumpkins and mums, which we sell here too. For sure. You're done, you know, and it's a lot easier. For sure. So that's kind of your two outdoor options. And coming back in, we spoke about the round centerpiece, but the other really great trend that we've kind of hung on to is the low and long. Yeah, those um, long farm tables. This is a great fit. Or a sideboard. This is a great fit. Yeah, or a sofa table. This is really Really nice because for two reasons one it gives you that long and lean shape but it also isn't so tall that it obstructs your line of sight when you have guests we get that question a lot you know I want to have a great centerpiece but I have to mm -hmm. take it away because I can't see the person on the other side of the table so this does some kind of a low option and you can control that again because it's a drop-in yeah. on this little styrofoam so I can even I could do a much lower container. Like a tray or a dough bowl or something would look or lovely. Or if you want to even use that, it's designed low enough that I can actually even set this guy 
and flank him with candles and I flank him with I just had a aha moment. I don't like this. <laughs> this is dangerous. But really, you don't know. Don't say it. Well, honestly, when you're entertaining, everyone's looking for that, I want to be able to see over it. So at this point, this is that, you know, low profile, so it's not going to obstruct your view talking to your guests across the table. But wow, in the, more. the next phase of that is when that table is empty, this is too low. This is not going to do an impact when you don't have the table That's set true. and you're not entertaining. Put it in that container and it's lifted it up and it's made it the more appropriate size to be something a little more statement yeah. for the design of your table for the rest of the time. Valid point, Lauren, valid point. <laughs> and then we do it in our bouquets. We do them in two sizes. Tiny. We do the little mini bouquet drop-in, which is ideal for those sofa tables, um, or, or rather your coffee table, if you want to bring a little fall into like a guest bedroom. Yeah, and that's a great a little table size. in your living room. Send a gift. This it is. is a great size. Well, even as a hostess gift, you know, if you came in, wrapped that in a little brown paper and a little mm -hmm. note, that's a lovely little gift that maybe somebody wouldn't treat themselves yeah. to. So and it's a great little price point. So that's a really great one. He drops in really nicely. And then we have the big girl over here yeah. who's just all things beautiful. She is so pretty, like a kind of a feel of a dried rose, but it is an artificial. Everything in it is faux. So it will last, it will store, it will be ready to come back out for the next year and drop into your vase. This is a little, like, just a beautiful bouquet for, like, a foyer table, or if you have a casual kitchen, you just want to have that beautiful cut bouquet look, I think this is amazing. And it could drop into a bowl as well. Yeah, and I think, really, the trend has gone a lot. You know, we did a lot of dries in years past, and then it kind of pulled away, and it's definitely going back in that way. And dries are lovely, but even dries have that shelf life. Like, fresh has yeah. a shelf life, dries have a shelf life. So if you can do a dried look, um, for fall that is not dry, yeah. you're getting all the good things. And so it's really, really nice. And that this has everything that a lovely preserved or dried And it's just going to last so much longer. Yeah. So congratulations if you've gotten your kids out the door. <laughs> yes. And hope they stay in school all day long. It's so a great day. is their pumpkin spice. And if you um, go online, branchesdesigns.com, you're going to find all these pieces. The website is new and approved. And We're really loading it up. Yes. So check that out. Um, it's going to be uh, on the floor here in the shop here. We're redoing all of our displays. Yeah, come see it in Spice, person. the first one's coming out. Thank you guys. We appreciate you. Happy fall.